Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the terrible news about Anthony Brown and him having the ruptured Achilles. And with that, we want to have a serious discussion on how this is going to impact not just the rest of this year, but how next year is going to unfold for him. Because Achilles tears take a while for you to get back to form. And so with this being a contract year for him, it's not only going to impact this year, but also what's going to happen for him moving forward. So... Before we get started, if you can like this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell, and if you wish to support the channel further than that, hit the join button, become a channel member, and support the channel on a monthly basis. Now, to start things off, with Anthony Brown being a uh, free agent this year, it really does show that this year was going to be huge for him, right? Because... You know, you kind of saw from 2021, he was really a solid starter, which I still think that he is a solid starter. But there are moments where he has not played up to par from what he did last year, which is understandable. You know, the guy is not a Pro Bowl starter. I understand that. But for what you were paying and getting, okay, that's fine. Now, I would say that this is going to force the Cowboys' hand to play guys like Kelvin Joseph, Deron Bland, Nashawn Wright and company, which, by the way, Deron Bland looked really damn good in that Colts game. Now, I get it. It's just at the end of the game, and, you know, you got a couple interceptions, so it might inflate a couple things, but he did pretty well, and I think that Deron Bland could look good on the outside rather than just playing in the slot. Now, as for Kelvin Joseph, Kelvin Joseph up and down play there were moments where he looked fine but the boneheaded penalties are what's worrying me granted they're on special teams so i'm hoping that his dumb ass doesn't get us more penalties on special teams <laughs> but um that's kind of where i stand with uh those two now with nation ray i'm fully expecting him to get some snaps here because if you don't know what you got there, and you just throw them out there in serious games where we're talking about Philly, the Titans, Washington, and most likely Tampa Bay. You know, I'm worried he's going to get cooked, and I'm not saying the guy's bad. It's just that when you don't have a whole lot of playing time, you don't know what you got. This is kind of my opinion on Deron Bland and Kelvin Joseph and Nashawn Wright in company. So... You kind of had to figure what you have there first before you make the offseason moves, such as do you bring back Anthony Brown, which most likely, you know, I don't know what kind of deal he's going to be looking for. I don't think teams are going to sign him anymore because of that Achilles tear, which will most likely have him sidelined for next year because of how late the injury occurred. And it's kind of really bad if you're his camp because now it's like well shit we're hurt and you know what can we make an argument for i mean anthony brown he's getting up there in age and you know those achilles tears and you know medical science has improved enough to really forego the uh issues with that but it might take him a bit to get him back into form so this could be the Cowboys uh, call to move on or the Cowboys sign him on a cheap multi-year deal, like a two-year deal or a three-year deal, not as much as you would think it could be. And he comes back. And I don't have a problem with Anthony Brown coming back, but I think the issue is you could do better than what he has uh, to offer. And that's really been my biggest point of this entire discussion with Anthony Brown, not only through this year, but previous years, is that... You know, you could go get another corner in the draft or two to pair alongside Trevon. And then you kind of think that was kind of the plan. Now, I think Deron Bland helps with that. You don't really need to go uh, get someone immediately if Deron Bland is who we think he is, a solid starter. But I think what kind of worries me the most is that I don't want us to go cheap or just try to put a band-aid on an open wound because you also have to factor in Jordan Lewis is hurt. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with those two guys, but it really feels like the young DBs will have a massive impact on what happens this offseason. So I think that that's something to keep an eye out on. Now, is cornerback much more of a need 
going into 2023, regardless of the outcome of this year. Yeah, I, I think that it's a big need. It's been one for some time. In fact, I think a lot of us were advocating for a cornerback in the uh, past two drafts, as we've seen. And, you know, the Cowboys have been throwing a lot of picks at him, and some have hit, uh, especially Trevon. You were kind of hoping that Kelvin Joseph could end up being that guy alongside him. He hasn't been that yet. Looks like Deron Bland happens to be taking that moniker. So I would say that if you are a Dallas Cowboys fan, you are kind of hoping that this group does not get exposed as much. And this is going to fall down on the front seven doing their job. Because if you go back and you look at some of the games we've had, Anthony Brown has been beat on one deep play right and that's not good because if you are allowing teams to get deep shots on you and they're succeeding it's going to make it a lot more difficult to be competitive in these games because or more so you pull away in games where like let's say we're up on Tampa Bay in the playoffs 14 to nothing and you have Na- uh, Nation Wright or Kelvin Joseph give up a big play that makes uh the team go back into a, oh no, this is what's going on, and you know, you get the Tampa Bay back into the game. Like, momentum's a real thing, people, and that's what I'm worried about, is that this injury is going to obviously force the Cowboys' hand to play some of these guys, but I'm worried that these guys won't be able to step up. Now, just because I say I'm worried they won't be able to step up doesn't mean that I don't think they can. Absolutely. I think that they have the, the tool set to work with, it's just a matter of how Dan Quinn can incorporate them into this defensive scheme and get things rolling. So I'm really curious what you guys have to say. By all means, put it down in the comments section below. Do you think this injury is a little bit more impactful? Do you think that the Cowboys need to sign someone? Like, I, I think it's too late for that. But by all means, put that down in the comments section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys? Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.